Hello, I'm Steve. This is Bit of Munch, and I'm going to get a bit sticky. Iceland sticky chicken skewers. These were two fifty, or as you can see, three to five pound. Now I've cooked all my, I've cooked them all up. They were a bit of a faff to cook, I have to say, because you have to wrap foil around the wooden part the exposed wooden part of the skewer. So a little bit of a faff, but not too much. Anyway, what does it say about these? It says, eight sticky chicken skewers, cooked skinless chicken breast pieces glazed with an oriental style sauce on wooden skewers. 68% chicken breast. And this is funny, right? There's eight in there, okay? It says, contains eight servings. Yeah, imagine if you gave this to someone and said, hey ah, here's your dinner, love. <laughs> That's a serving according to Iceland. Apologies for the accent. I don't, don't even know what sort of accent that was. But I don't know, it just popped out of my mouth, out of my head, as things do. Right, I've got three of them on the plate here, with, of course, some red peppers. Because as we all know, peppers are great with chicken. Yay! They smell unusual. They've just got a... I don't know. It doesn't really smell oriental. It just smells... It smells intensely savoury, if that makes sense. Not sure if that will make sense, but yeah. Right, let's dive in. Let's have a go. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> bit stuck in my teeth there. Ah, now I'm dribbling. I'm a mess, aren't I? Yeah, quite sweet. Um. There's a slight charred taste to them. I cooked them for exactly the time it said on the pack. Um, let's see if I can break a bit off of the... Yeah, that all falls apart. It all falls apart. Look, I've got pieces and pieces and... You won't be able to tell. <laughs> Proper chicken breast though. But as for the taste, I don't know. Mm. If you imagine, this isn't going to really make much sense. And I haven't turned my internet off because I'm still getting notifications. I haven't turned Wi-Fi off, by the way. So I apologize if you hear any bing-bongs or anything. Um, it's a sticky, sweet, savoury taste. Does that make sense? It does in my head. They're nothing brilliant, to be perfectly honest. They're all right. But it's a bit of an expensive way to buy chicken really eight of them for two pound fifty even with the offer you know three for five quid it's an expensive way to buy your chicken mm. There's not really much, it's not a very complex taste. It's a pretty boring taste, to be honest, as I said. Sticky, sweet, and savoury. If that, yeah, does that make sense to you? It does to me. Mm, I wouldn't buy them again. They're not one of the best products I've had from Iceland. I'll eat them, but, oh, let's try a bit with a bit of pepper, of course. What I'm gonna do, 
I'm going to put the rest of these on my plate and I'm going to cook up a pack of noodles, of course. Love me noodles, as you might know. Mm. Yeah, lovely with a bit of pepper. Improves it immensely. <laughs> right. There's some really, really good things in Iceland's party food range. And at three to five pound, a lot of them are really good value. I don't, won't recommend that one. I won't be buying that one again. You might love them. I don't. They're okay. Meh. Um, I've got uh, one other product to review from this range, I think. Because I bought some more of the cheddar cheese popcorn bites that you saw in a recent video. And I've got something else which you'll see in an upcoming video, which I'm hoping will be quite good, but we will see. Not sure what to put with it yet, to get the brain working. <laughs> right, <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. Have you tried these? Have you tried anything similar? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed already, I'd really, 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 really appreciate it if you did. Thanks a lot.